Ah, yes, I'm using this music and I humbly present to you that I have joined the most funny YouTubism cult and pledge to using song this to stay funny and humorist. So anyway, let's see what we are going to create today. First we need to create a depth map for this picture, in order to do that we will use photoshop. Now you should be thinking, why in the good heavens do I have to do this hassle, if I can just use a free online depth map converter, right? Well there's no question there are many great depth map converters online, like this one, where you can add an image and wait for it to create a depth map for you. But in After Effects I found that the generated depth map can give a bloated or a balloon feel to the picture, especially if it is an anime based art, because there's not much semi-realism information is available for the depth generator to look for, if you have a real picture or a semi-realistic artwork then map generator is great choice. I hope that makes sense. So we use Photoshop to quickly create a depth map ourselves with a few steps. To make your process easy and faster, please note that this is how a depth map works. The thing you want to move is going to be white or grey, and the thing you don't want to move is going to be black or dark grey. It is as simple as that. So let's create one in Photoshop. First I'd like to mention the artist of this beautiful picture, Mohab. He's drawing some great artworks. I was excited to ask him if I could use one of his pictures, because that's exactly the kind of picture I was wanting to use in one of my videos. He was very kind to agree. So make sure to follow him on his social media and art website. Alright, so in Photoshop, make a duplicate of the image. Then turn it off. On the original layer, use any brush and paint it white. Then turn the duplicate layer on. Keep it selected, go to filter, 3D and generate bump map. This window will appear. Here just keep things like mine. Hit OK when you are done. Then add a new layer. Select the brush tool, pick black color, and start painting everything with black that appears to be in background. Then pick white color, with a lower opacity, and start painting the things, that appears to be in focus. Lower down the layer's opacity temporarily, to know what exactly you are painting on. Don't make too many tiny shapes, just make big blocks or big shapes, like in mine you can see the shapes are big instead of tiny details. Lastly do some minor brightness adjustments, if it appears to be too bright. Then save it as a JPEG image. Now open After Effects. Put both pictures into the project. One is the original picture and other is a depth map picture. Grab the original one and drop it on this button. It will create a new comp. Go to the comp settings and adjust the duration and frame rate. I'll keep the duration 20 seconds cause it's easy to loop. For instance if later I want to change it to like minutes or hours. Change the frame rate to 60 fps. Cool. Now add an adjustment layer and name it as zoom. Drag and drop transform effect to it. Create a keyframe for scale. Increase it to 110%. Go forward a little and increase the value a bit more. Then go forward and change it back to 110%. Now just copy paste them into land. Now select all keyframes right click and easy ease them. Ok 
open the layer, and add keyframes for position as well. Just try to give it a smooth zigzag motion. Easy ease the keyframes. Then push them back like this. This will give a nice phase offset effect. Then copy the first position keyframe and paste it towards the end. Also paste it on start. This will make it a loop. So now it is going to start at the same spot where it has ended. Now go to this website from the description and download this free plugin called Displacer Pro. There is a download button. It will take you to this page. When you have it download. You'll see these folders. Copy this file. Go to the location where your After Effects is installed. Paste the file under Plugins folder. Then save the video project and restart After Effects for the plugin to appear. After restarting, put depth map picture on your timeline. Right click and pre-compose it. Name it as map. Then turn it off. Then add an adjustment layer. Call it displace. Then put displace a pro effect to it. Here select your map layer. When you move these settings it should do some distortions to your picture. To eliminate white edges, I will set edges to mirror. Add keyframes for both X and Y translate. Change the keyframes values a tiny bit. Go forward and change the values just a little bit. When you play it, it should have a subtle 3D movement effect. Now just copy paste the keyframes, like we did for the zoom. Then easy ease them. And move the Y translate keyframes back. Push back X translate keyframes a little bit as well. To make them loop, simply create one keyframe on start and one towards the end, both with same value. This will be your main composition. For now I will keep it 24 fps, because it previews faster, later when I'm done I'll change it back to 60 fps. Put your song on timeline. Right click and convert audio to keyframes. Open this layer. Delete left and right channels. Under this drop down. Type this expression. It will smooth out the shaking. Then put the animated image composition to your timeline. Add an adjustment layer. Rename it as zoom and shake. Put a wiggle position effect to it. Set speed to about 5 or 7 percent. And amount 0 percent. Then open the layer, alt click the wiggle amount stopwatch, and connect it with audio amplitude. Then edit the given code like this.
with this code your image will shake 25% when the bass hits. You can always increase the shake amount. Increase the scale a little bit. Put a transform effect to it. Rename it as transform 2. Open it and connect its scale to the audio amplitude. Divide the given code by 3, then add plus value towards the end. You can decrease or increase the shake speed. Uncheck this box and increase the shutter angle. It will give a blur effect each time shake happens. Do the same for other one. Then using the pen tool I will draw a shape like this around her forehead. Choose a darker shade of any color. Put a Gaussian blur effect to it, or any kind of blur you have. Increase it. Put the shape layer below your zoom and shake layer. Now copy this code from zoom and shake layer. and paste it under shapes opacity. Then edit it like this. I don't like Gaussian blur effect, so I will put my favorite fast blur effect. This shape will act as the light every time bass hits. Change its blend mode to color dodge or classic color dodge. I will choose a brighter color, so it's more visible. Then create a solid. Name it as snow. Put CC snowfall effect to it. Adjust some properties like I'm doing. Apply the copied code to the wind property. Edit it like this. Then paste the same code under speed property then edit it. Now snow particles should respond to the music. Change the layers rotation to 180, so they go upwards. Put it down, and change blend mode to screen. Now copy this code again, and paste it under snow particles opacity. Now it will look more pleasing. You can also change particles color to something else. Add a solid, and put audio spectrum effect to it. Set the spectrum effect. Put some color to it. Place it at the bottom. Tweak it a little more, until it looks good. Change the color to black. Make a duplicate of spectrum. On the bottom layer put 4 color gradient effect, and adjust the gradient color points somewhere close to the audio spectrum. 
Choose some nice colors. Remember to change the project frame rate back to 60 fps. Lastly export the video. If you don't know how to export, watch this video on my channel. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the image artist Mohibana's socials. Till then, goodbye.